Ian, we can confirm tonight that a four-year-old girl, the daughter of a Canadian woman held in an ISIS detention camp in northeastern Syria, is on her way to Canada with a relative if she's not already there. We understand that she came out of the camp on Friday with an aunt who was helped by the former U.S. diplomat Peter Galbraith, who helped them across the border, border from northern Syria into Iraq and here in Erbil, where they did receive help from the Canadian Consular Services in getting documentation so that the child could travel. Galbraith told CBC News that the mother actually reached out to him directly about two months ago and he called it a selfless act, a decision to try to offer her daughter a better future. Uh, this is only the second Canadian child of parents believed to be affiliated with ISIS that we know of that's been brought to Canada. There are tens of thousands of foreign ISIS fighters and their families being held in squalid Syrian camps. More than 40 Canadians among them, including at least 24 children. Canada has been criticized for failing to do more to help the children in particular and for leaving the Syrian Kurds to deal with prosecuting foreign ISIS militants. Tomorrow marks the 10-year anniversary of the start of the civil war in Syria. That conflict giving ISIS a foothold in both Iraq and Syria. It was the mainly Kurdish Syrian Democratic Forces who were key in defeating ISIS. But they find themselves now with little help in dealing with the militants left behind or their families. Ian. Margaret Evans in Erbil, Iraq, tonight.